Happy Halloween, guys, and welcome back to your dry delight. I think this would be the last episode for uh, uh, your dry delight, if I'm not mistaken, because it seems that we're drawing to an end since the three of us are in a room. Shit's about to go down, which is a suitable ending for a uh, suitable celebration and ending for Halloween, don't you think? So I think. Uh, by the time I upload, this would be just at uh, the day of uh, Halloween, so that's why. But today, it's two days before Halloween start it starts, so just to let you guys know. The three of us stroll into the hotel room, still followed by the tense air from early on. Earlier? Jesus, I, I already can't read, ruining the um, atmosphere. Mayor and Leslie have been constantly bantering on the way here, but I can't tell if it's genuine snideness or the playful kind. Ooh, hey, there they are. Well, there's no point in wasting my time. Eh, wasting any time, eh? Let's hear your proposal, Eastman. We're listening. Of course, I'm both. I'm sure both of you are exceptionally busy men. Busy men. Okay. We shift into a fairly close circle, close enough that we we don't risk our voices carrying too far. Leslie stands nearer to my side than Mayor, almost protective in his stance. In his stance, she stands nearer to my side. Okay. I don't know what he thinks he can do. If worse come, if worse came to worst, I guess I can I could pick him up to use as a battering ram. <laughs> okay. If you're strong enough to lift Leslie up. I assume you're already aware of my influence in our city and the control I have over a, a, a large amount of business. But I'm not without competition. There are numbers of smaller persistent groups that, while less organized, are still significant. And as, the, as a result of my extensive network, I'm very familiar with the movements of these various outfits and their leaders ac across Cleveland. In English, that means you know what the other gangs are up to, right? <laughs> That's American English, but Mayor is using uh, normal uh, English, just a bit complicated than American English. Precisely, Richter. He winks at me at most imperceptibly. Imperceptibly. I don't know how. What is that? Like I've been, uh, I've been let hit, let in on some inside joke. What, what the hell is that? I suppose that I offer a steady stream of that information to you. More than enough to fill reports for the FBI, surely. At least for the time being. You'll discover a new warehouse to raid every other week. One that coincidentally belongs to an <laughs> to a different organization than my own. Wow. So they're they're may um, they're using the FBI to crush their uh, his enemies. Good good strategy. Funny thing, how coincidences like that happen. Leslie quips dryly, glancing between Mayor and me. His gaze stays locked uh, with mine for several se several seconds. One eyebrow raised in a "What do you want? Uh, what do you make of this so far?" kind of way. So, what would you be? Uh, what would you be wanting in exchange? A level of discretion of on your part that will allow me to carry on with my business. Well, I think it's a it's a good deal because uh, the FBI can get uh, reinforce the prohibition by destroying uh, his enemies, Mayor's enemies, and Mayor can continue to grow and prosper. Just uh, so it's kind of a win-win situation. Mayor murmurs in uh, murmurs his terms rather naturally, blowing on his nails and polishing them nonchalantly on his collar. Ew, that's nasty. I'll see to it that my men keep their noses clean, after all. I'm interested in providing alcohol cu to customers, not filling the streets with the bodies of my enemy. Very poetic. There's certain more where that came from. He doesn't even make eye contact, in innocently gazing into another in another direction, but his tone is teasing enough to get the message across. Les oh Jesus! Leslie narrows his eyes a little at Mayor. Is he trying to read him, or has he already made up his mind? Believe me, I don't doubt that a part of this conflict with your senses of justice as as detectives. But a uh, after speaking with Richter, I wouldn't expect anything less. 
but you're both logical, practical men. Try to view the situation through a more objective lens. It's, you're a businessman, so there's no objective stuff. <laughs> there's a short pause, but an important one. Mind flash, my mind flashes back to my conversation with Leslie. Our doubts and guilt over what, uh, what we're doing. If you took me to to jail right now and by some miracle managed to convict me, someone else will only step up to take my place. This war on liquor will never really end. It should never have existed to begin with. All it succeeded in doing was creating a different sort of industry, a more dangerous one. Right, yeah, he's right in, in a historical point of view. With that, uh, with all that in mind, his dark green eyes flick from me to Leslie and back to me. Why not compromise and make your employers happy in exchange for making the American people happy? Well, that makes sense. I totally agree. It. <laughs> Once he finishes speaking, a longer silence falls over the room. Leslie rubs, as his, uh, rubs, his, rubs at his shoulder with one hand, staring at the floor with a deep brooding expression, and I fall into my own complicated thoughts. I've always wanted to control crime. No, Jesus. I've always wanted to control crime, uphold the law, and fall asleep with a clean conscience every night. But when it comes to prohibition, that same question keeps resurfacing in my head. Is enforcing this law, this law really the right thing to do? Not really. Should we follow federal orders like mindless slaves? Or should we make our own judgments in cases like this? I steal a glance up at Mayer. He returns my gaze with a gentle, calm smile, eyes glimmering curiously. Victor? Richter. Leslie turns to my uh, to face me. His features carefully composed in an unusually neutral mask. Any thoughts? Deciding to let my apparently crippling honesty speak for me, I take a deep breath. I don't think prohibition is meant to last. I take my pride in job. Uh, I take pride in my job, but I get nothing out of reinforcing Volstead's middle finger to America, snatching away hooch just to suit the Fed's fantasy. That doesn't sit right with me. And as for Mayor, I think he's right, boss. With him or without him, the liquor business here will keep going, and I'd rather someone like Mayor run it than some crew out of blood as much as profit. Yeah, he's right. He, he uh, Mayor's a gentle person, sort of. Leslie chews on his lip. He's wavering on the brink of deciding something, but I can't tell which way he's leaning. Towards you too, yay! Rick, to <laughs> oh Jesus! Whatever, de whatever decision you make, boss, I'll stand behind it. You can count on that. I know, Richter. That's why you're my partner. After a lengthy pause, Leslie finally breaks into a faint smile, turning his gaze from me to Mayor. Listen, I can't promise a deal will hold forever, Mayor. There's always a risk that someone will find out, or will get, uh, will get moved into a different case. I'm well aware, so, good f yeah, so few good things last forever. But that's, uh, that's more of a reason to enjoy them while they last, isn't it? <laughs> I'll drink to that, all right. He suddenly takes a deep, sharp breath, eyes flashing. Damn, it, sh it, fe it sure feels good to spit in Fulsteed's eye, that son of a bitch. Oh, <laughs> and grabs Mayor's hand firmly, shaking it with pure determination. In fact, he seems so convicted that I have to wonder how hard the, de the decision really was for him. He wasn't just pausing for dramatic eff uh, effect back then, was he? You know, my sister got married last week, and this reception was completely dry. Not a drop of booze in sight. Have you ever, uh, have you even had to sit through 15 wedding speeches completely sober? I've never prayed so hard for the rapt rapture in my life. <laughs> As his hand is pumped up and down by an enth enthusiastic Leslie, Mayor breaks into delighted laughter. Maybe the first time I've ever heard him be so loud. Whether it's from amusement or relief, though, I can't really tell. Well, it's definitely a good sign. Well, this is a cause for celebration, gentlemen, wouldn't you agree? 
Mayor steps over to the door, lightly knocks for knocking for lightly knocking for time. Oh god. A few seconds later, it opens slightly, and someone discreetly hands them a bottle and several wine glasses. Wow. Is that you had them bring it here? Wasn't that a bit uh, a bit presumptuous? That's a long word. I can't I can't do it. I only make bets I'm confident in. Ah, uh, I have a feeling we're going to get along just fine. They exchange playful glances. Ooh, hey, and and then their eyes slide over to me. <laughs> You're gonna get down on your knees. Leslie, no, no, not Leslie. Uh, Richter, because you both of your boyfriends are gonna, <laughs> gonna, gonna embrace you tonight. <sighs> Why do I suddenly feel like a rabbit spotted by a pair of lions? I don't think lions are interested in rabbits since they're they're too small. It, it's not worth uh, of the energy. Hey, hey, what are you? Before I know it, the two, uh, the other two have taken my arms, pulling me over to the foot of the bed. <gasps> Ooh, hey, girl! <laughs> like they're operating on some new unspoken pact, they sandwich me between them before I can even finish my protest. Shall we toast to the success of our new partnership? Don't mind if I do, you're a true gentleman after all, Mayor. Leslie holds out his glass, and Mayor casually reaches over me to pour. Well, I'm, s I'm sorry that uh, actually booze isn't that uh, isn't my go-to drink. Oh Jesus! Sorry, isn't my go-to drink because I don't really enjoy uh, uh, the bitterness of of alcohol. That's why I like sweet stuff. I like sweet alcohol instead. Um, probably you people will think me as a child who can't really take alcohol. Well, who cares? I don't really care what you people think. I like sweet stuff. And of course, we shouldn't forget the wonderful little detective who brought us together, should we? Well, it's really nothing. I... Uh, uh, oh, that's Richter, sorry. I humbly nominate him as our ambassador, the key component to making sure our arrangement uh, runs smoothly. That's actually not a bad idea. I can't tell a lie to save his life, so it's better for him than undercover work, that's for sure. What the? I didn't agree to this, did I? Hello? Agree? Richter, please. You're merely, merely continuing the role you, have, uh, you already have. You heard the man, Richter. Ambassador is a great sounding title too. I'm jealous. Jesus Christ. Very funny, you fellas. You're a real riot. Goodness. <laughs> They're about to hold on to something else, you know what I'm saying? As I grumbled to myself, watching the deep. Oh, Jesus, someone's um, pinging me. Hang on. Uh, watching the deep ruby liquid flow into Leslie's glass. My mind begins to picture how many other deals like this will take place while prohibition goes on. You can't stop the demand of drugs, okay? It's already changed our country forever, changed us as Americans forever, though I doubt we'll understand the full scale of it for many, many years. But when I think about all the detectives and officers who will one day reach the same conclusion as us, I have to wonder, just how much longer will this dry American last? I, I'm not sure how, when did the prohibition end it. <laughs> I think it's perfectly fair to keep him four days a week with me. What? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> four days, you greedy bastard, trying to monopolize him, eh? <laughs> I know what they're talking about. I'm not. I'm not trying to play dumb. I tuned back in to a good-natured argument, one that seemed to be about. Hmm. What if we shared him for one day? Surely a reasonable man like yourself would agree to that, Leslie. Sharing him for a day, eh? You know, I think that can be arranged. What the hell kind of conversation are you? Oh, hey, never mind. Yeah, they're about to grab. Yeah. Oh, is this over? Please don't tell me it's not over yet. Prohibition, 1920 to 1933. A noble experiment. Wow, we have ended this. Okay. Okay. Oh Jesus, has it stopped free? Oh Jesus, uh, sorry. Okay, <laughs> okay. Thank you, 
These pe for these people uh, who made this stuff, this is really funny. Uh, I didn't know there is a lot of uh, BL stuff hanging around in uh, in Steam. Probably it's because of the LGBT movement, but I don't know. Probably be uh, people are into BLs more and more, especially in in Asia, I guess, and probably. A majority uh, of you in the Western world. Thank you for playing. No man is an island entire for itself. Every man is a piece of the con continent, a part of the main. By John Don. Donny? I don't know. Anyway, uh, do we have anything else to do in here? Oh no. Okay. Let's take a screenshot of this. <laughs> uh. There we go, and probably we can end this here. <laughs> how long? How long has this been? Oh, it's just 16 minutes. Okay. Um, okay. I, I I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and have a good time. Have a good uh, Halloween. Although it's Wednesdays, but it's uh, day off. It's a day off for me. So um, hopefully you guys will have lots of spooks for kids. You hopefully you can get lots of candies and tricks. Okay. Just not for me because I still have to study and do stuff to <laughs> to future my career. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one, and hopefully you guys would have good luck on your side, and may the spooks and skeletons be on your side too. Okay, see you later.